Hello viewers, Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. How are we all today, wherever you are in the world when you're watching this? I hope that you are well and a huge, huge shout out for the support that you provided me yesterday when I was feeling crestfallen, like you all, you reached out to me, I was overwhelmed, not overwhelmed, I was um, gratefully um receiving a, a swag of emails and messages and from people who were just thanking me, supporting me and lifting me up because you could see that yesterday was difficult for me as it was for you and suddenly, not suddenly, you're always there for me but you were there for me again and I want to thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart. Now, we talked about patience yesterday. We still do have to be patient. Uh, if I think Biden only needs now the six electoral votes from Nevada, again, you know, John McCain's, uh, it, you know, influence in Arizona is, is helping Biden. But I think he only needs those six electoral uh, college votes from Nevada to take him to the 270 threshold. Uh, interestingly, Georgia is uh, closer than, well, it's not closer than what I thought because I actually said I got those beautiful cards for Georgia and I said I would get on here and have a glass of red wine with you if Georgia went blue. I don't know, you know, like today, I, you've already heard my predictions, I'm not going to go over them again. But according to Associated Press, we have Donald Trump sitting on 49.7% in Georgia and Joe Biden on 49.1%. Georgia is still in play. Um, let's have a look. So Biden is sitting on 264. Trump is on 214. Nevada contains six electoral votes. Uh, it's leaning to, to toward blue. Um, you know, again, suspend the expectation and uh, just hold everything in check for a minute till we actually get over the line. Uh, Pennsylvania, of course, they're now counting the mail-in ballots which favour Biden and he's starting to claw back ground as the Republicans knew they would, hence why they wanted to shut down any further counting of votes. We have to call it like it is, isn't it? They wanted to shut down the election prematurely and not count votes. So we have Donald Trump sitting at 50.8% uh, in um, Pennsylvania and Biden at 48.1%. He was uh, a lot further behind than that before the mail-in ballots, which traditionally uh, favoured the Democrats, began to be counted today. Um, North Carolina is still in play Donald Trump is 50 at sitting at 50.1% uh, and Joe Biden 48.7%. The Senate is still in play. Um, the House, as I said, uh, looks as though it will go to the Democratic Party, though the Republicans have uh, picked up an extra six seats. So there's, there's messages all through this election. Um, but I don't think the House is in doubt for the Democratic Party. The Senate is still in play and Biden is inching closer to the finish line. Now, throwing into the mix a uh, very... Um, Volatile sideshow side Don, who's already now challenging things in the in the courts, as as we predicted. Uh, somebody actually did send me through my predictions, and I was quite um quite surprised that you know there's a a, a good a good degree of accuracy in uh, in terms of Arizona, and I thought Nevada might be okay. Uh, these you know as I said these are um. I, at the time, I said I could be right or I could be wrong, but I'm, I'm, I thought Ohio might go to Trump. Um, I said Pennsylvania probably will go to Biden, but right across the the map, the electoral map, I saw issues. I really did see those issues uh, around this. Though you know, I can just say cheating. Let's call it what it is. Whether you want to say voter suppression or not, it's it's cheating. Now, Michigan, um, I've been reading a lot about Michigan and, and Detroit. 
uh, bringing it home in Michigan for Joe Biden. Now, Detroit is the um, the city in America that has the uh, most, it's it's the most population of African Americans. And I think that this new regime, talking about what the work that needs to be done once things, once the dust has settled and the results are known, um, there's a, a debt there, a real debt, uh, and there is needing to be concrete reforms. Now, I want to explain, um, I will continue to do political readings. Um, that's, uh, I never, I never will shy away from that. What I didn't want to do is keep reading on Trump for another four years. And I don't think you want to hear about him either much longer. But I'll stay with with Trump until we uh, until he's facing justice. Uh, but I will I will always continue my political readings. But we'll have more to talk about beyond Trump, which is what I'm really looking forward to. We can expand the channel and really look at those um, metaphysical, more channelings, more tarot scopes, uh, more worldwide events, more looking at what are the trends going on globally, um, some of those big, big issues like climate change, um, looking at the whys and the wherefores of um this this fascist movement, um, keeping a look at Q and seeing where all of those people go. You know, you've now in America got a Q in your Congress, which is, t- again, a real cause for disappointment. I guess the reason that I was crestfallen yesterday was not that no, I wasn't very concerned about predictions. What really, uh, I guess, upset me is that 70 million people voted for Trump, understanding the the man that he is, understanding uh, the threat that he is, not just to democracy, but to the world. I also want to share some, I've been out with friends today and um, I've been obviously talking to people as well, other Australians, who watched on in horror at the speech that Donald Trump gave and they they became fearful, and they suddenly understood why an Australian like me uh, had been working with spirit so hard, and all these other beautiful light workers that you know of, working so hard uh, to try and to try and lift or to try and clear the fog, basically. So. I'm feeling much better today and that's largely due to all those beautiful messages of support I received from a lot of you and I just want to thank you again. So it's a new day for me in Australia. It's a rainy uh, Thursday afternoon for me and I thought I would jump on and just have a look at how Trump's feeling because I watched Jim Acosta from CNN who has a uh, White House source, and CNN CNN sources have to be pretty legit. They can't just go making stuff up. And their sources are saying that Donald Trump, and and I'm I'm trying to quote this, says he will uh, challenge things as far as he can through the courts, but he understands that that's unlikely to be successful. Now, I thought he would be extremely enraged, and I think you saw that coming through his speech and his tweets. I think he knows that uh, his path to victory is not assured, even though he, you know, he did as much stacking of the decks. You know, it's illegal to interfere in an election, but that's exactly what Louis DeJoy, uh, whom he put in charge of the the U.S. Postal Service, did interfered with the election and is now in contempt of court. So anyone out there who's watching this, who may have a modicum of support for Donald Trump, understand that what he did was illegal. One side cheated and it wasn't the Democratic Party. Okay, let's have a look. Well, let's draw from the Moon Oracle. Let's get some cards going. And again, I just want to thank you for your, just for your beautiful comments. And beautiful messages. Let's get some tune back into spirit.
Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So spirit is here. Let's have a look at what is the energy of this time? What is the most important messages for my viewers on this channel, regardless of where they come from, whether they're located in Switzerland or Austria or the UK or Canada or America, South America, Africa, wherever, Australia, wherever they come from, what is the most important message for them right now, spirit? I think the sacrifices that people have made will be worth it in the end. So we've got pleasure. That's kind of like the three of cups, that energy of really anticipation, uh, a kind of excitement in the air. Don't want to get too in, uh, far in front, but we're generating some kind of excitement here this is a number 18 adding up to nine it's an anticipation of ending this cycle but I want to caution you don't get too far ahead of yourself now it's interesting the masculine came out in this card because a lot of the messages that I received yesterday were from males supporting me like a like a like putting the arm around the shoulders and saying it's all right it's going to be okay you know you hang in there and then you get back on that horse and you you keep going and i feel that um there's a lot around this card in terms of it's number 42 which is adding up to 6 which is healing i think once donald trump which really embodies the I guess the the worst of mas that masculine energy, and I don't need to report re uh, repeat all those words around women that he has said. But we've got the stronger side, not the weaker side of masculinity. The um, divine masculine, along with the divine feminine, but they can only rise when we when we see the lessons, and so. I feel that there are lessons at the moment. There will be time to unpack what happened and why at that higher spiritual level. Right now it's like crisis work that we're doing at the moment, uh, supporting one another. But I know, and I'm getting drawn to this butterfly that is just there. Remember we've just had our blue moon. There'll be a time when we start to really unpack this piece by piece at that higher spiritual level. And that work is going to be really important for us to do. Why did 70 million or however many Republicans endorse a thief, a cheat, a sexual assaulter? We heard his own words, that's sexual assault and everything else, a con, whatever. Why did they endorse this person? There'll be time to uh, unpack that. Now we have purity. I am reminded that when, uh, when the lessons are really, really tough, we have a chance to raise our vibration we have a chance to ascend out of the out of that muck and i do feel and this person is you know what happens in winter um there's a gestation period and things new things grow come spring so i do feel that there there is a a cleansing going on at the moment um, it's a little way away in terms of the what we're what we're sowing we, we will reap but nevertheless it's a time for introspection I think that card is saying one more please spirit and we've got attraction number 44 that which we think about that which we concentrate on that is what we're going to attract to us and so there, that's, there's a purification, a purification process needed 
Uh, and this is, I think, what's going to occur in the next few months. At the base of the pack, I love these. I love these energies. Resistance. Resistance. Isn't that be a beautiful card? Resistance. Learning the lessons and realisation. We've got a chance to walk through a, a gateway. I kept dreaming of going through portals last night. Lots and lots of portals. Um, we've got a chance to go a different way. And finally, at the end of the day, gratitude. Gratitude is, is a really high vibrational manifesting energy and wisdom, the growing in wisdom. So there will be lessons that we'll learn out of all of this and we will be stronger for it. And there will be pathways that we will need to choose that we're going to walk down. All right, let's have a look at Donald Trump. Sideshow Don. I tuned in, you know, as you know, I'm pretty switched on to people's emotions and uh, for better or worse, and uh, I tuned in a bit. I couldn't listen to a lot of his speech, but I tuned in a bit after my fellow Australians were just like gobsmacked. In fact, that that's a quote from one of my best friends. I was just gobsmacked. Did you hear what he was saying? Um, and likening him to uh, to Hitler, you know, I think people saw just how dangerous he is in that speech. All right, I I felt he was angry. I felt he knew he knew that the part his path to victory was probably not going to be successful, and he was going to do what he always does: burn the house down while he could. So let's just tune in to where he is at today. Okay, straight away I'm getting that really it's sort of like, okay, no, there's a despair there. So there's a, there is an action, an activity, but I'm seeing someone with their ha head in their hands and it is him. So regardless of what, and that's a clear image too, he's in that Oval Office, regardless of whatever he's projecting, he is despairing now he's turning up with one of those little caps that the um jewish people wear israel israel comes to mind so i just don't think i think he understands now that he's going to have to go because now i'm seeing people sort of lined up and and clap, clapping him as he walks off and it's not it's not a win it's it's in defeat so he's contemplating some part of him today according to my remote view is contemplating defeat and you know there have been readers suggest that he would leave the country i actually think that's quite possible i've always in my first reading so i've seen him in exile um, I always thought it was in Florida at Mar-a-Lago. Mar it could be somewhere else. All right, let's have a look at um, the what the cards. I'm going to use my Nostradamus cards today and also my Gilded Tarot for anyone who follows that. Um, let's have a look. How is he feeling? How is this Sideshow Don feeling? Okay, battering ram I'm seeing, trying to break down the door. All right, well, that's apt. How is Donald Trump feeling today? Please, in a few cards. How is he feeling? The hanged man. And this goes with the visions that I had. I mean, this kind of dragon-like creature has a sword sticking in his head. Nostradamus was pretty graphic, wasn't he? <laughs> Sorry, laughter is levity, isn't it? Okay, the dragon has almost been slayed. Now, dragon energy is all about anger, all about fight, all about aggression, and there's a sword in, in his head, the hanged man. He can't see a pathway to victory, I don't think. Now, judgment, again, in the courts, 
the hanged man in the courts. I think he knows. I think he's been given double tens. I think he's been judgment is in an inevitable ending. I think he's been given legal advice that the courts won't necessarily support him. That's what I think. Somebody has said that to him. And we have the, what is this? The Page of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. Again, money, worried about his money. I've always seen in the future him losing his money. He only has one pentacle. It's a slim chance. It's a very slim chance that he feels he has. So he's not confident today at all. Um, at the base of the pack is the devil. What's he doing? Speeches like last night, he's doing the devil's work. You know, things are so precarious globally at the moment that to have a president of the United States of America on an election, get on that, get on that podium and say what he said, he's doing the devil's work. But I notice here, good old Nostradamus, that the, the rabid dog is being chased away by this papal type creature or papal person. Um... Interesting, wielding that sword, sword of truth, is very strong in my clairvoyance today. And the Three of Pentacles, dark work to getting together. Um, you can see them all, can't you? His donors, his you know, his helpers, his enablers, the the usual cast of suspects getting together, sitting around the table, trying to work out how they can uh, snatch victory. But we've got the Three of Swords. It keeps going back. Two, heartbreak and loss for him. So I think I'm on the money when I say he is sitting like that, metaphorically speaking. All right, that's how he's feeling today. Thank you, Nostradamus, for, those, um, for that reading. All right, let's have a look at the court battles. Let's have a look. I hope I can have my glass of red wine with you if Georgia goes blue. It would be such a victory, wouldn't it? Anyway, let's. I keep telling you to suspend uh, expectations, and here I am falling <laughs> into that trap. What will be, will be. All right, so let's have a look at the courts. What are the courts likely? How are the courts going to rule? Is he going to have any success in the courts challenging election results? Any success in the courts challenging election results? The Eight of Pentacles, well, they're hard at work. Hard at work uh, doing that, but he's challenged by victory. And I'm pleased to see those cards. Let me bring the laptop down. So hard at work, but challenged by victory. The chariot, things moving very quickly. The courts won't let this. Uh, now, I don't even think that, that it automatically can go to the courts. So I think that the states have, the, have to sign off on results. So everybody's moving quickly uh, to try and get this, uh, this sorted out. Look at the levels of anxiety there. Sleepless nights. I don't know how much sleep you had last night, but I was awake for two or three hours. <laughs> Monitoring election results. Now we have a judgment card, inevitable endings. An inevitable ending. Now we have the high priestess. Now, again, he needs to be careful where he treads because there is only one that cheated and that was Trump and DeJoy interfering with it, slowing those those ballots down. And I do feel that the media are working on these stories as we speak. Right now we've got the Seven of Cups. So there's a, a, a fog, there's a, this illusion. Illusion doesn't quite work all that well at the uh, when, it, when it stacks up against the law. No. Nah. The environment, environment around is loss. This card, I feel, years ago, 
I predicted that he would resign and go, take a deal and go. Um, and there's still time for that before the inauguration in January. Uh, and if he does, where where is he going to go to? We've got the three of swords again for the second time in the hopes and fears. He's very fearful of loss. The three of wands, okay, waiting for the ship to come in. It's also, I'm getting a pull to him going. <laughs> the tower, okay, it's clarified by the tower, not looking good for him uh, and having to defend himself back to the wall. So these three and judgment are the outcome cards for whether or not he will succeed. It doesn't look... It doesn't look positive for him. The tower is upon him. He's got pretty awful cards. We do have the lover's card. He showed up in his own reading. He's a Gemini. And we have the five of wands. He'll put as many obstacles and challenges as he can uh, in front of this um, election result. He's really worried about his connections with Russia. And here's this page of pentacles. Uh, very worried that he will he, that this will all be blown open and the ending of his presidency. So I don't see a confident John, Donald Trump, regardless of how he portrays. I don't see a confident Donald Trump. It's all around him and what could likely happen when he's not the president and he can't protect himself. Okay, let's have a look. I would go so far as to say that he's feeling quite paranoid today. All right, fearful. Let's have a look. I just want to take a squeezy at Georgia. I probably shouldn't do this, but I will. And I do feel the Senate's in play. It might even come down to the runoff in Georgia um, <clears throat> or something that will surprise us. All right. There's no room for complacency, though, and we will unpack that. We'll unpack what happened with so many Republicans still supporting this person. Um, let's have a look. I do want to uh, mention and shout out that Joe Biden has received the most votes of any president in the history of the United States. Let that sink in, everybody. All right, so Georgia, please. Can you show me Georgia? Can you show me Georgia? At the crossroads. At the crossroads. Somebody is throwing... Um, something in someone's face this is an this will be important whatever this victory is will be very important show me georgia will georgia will georgia turn blue georgia it's in play will georgia go to joe biden so we've got the eight of cups this is a loss okay so let's see what the uh, cards are here crossing it is the empress so again i feel that there's been a lot of this this cheating going on i you know I, and this could be that it's unmasked as well the magician as the foundation of the reading can either be for biden or it can be the dirty trickster let's see we have death at at it at the in the past so ending something ending something i hope this is going to go stacy abrams way in the um sky we have an inevitable ending is this an ending is this eight of cups here for donald trump crossed by abundance so loss crossed by abundance loss crossed by as you sow so shall you you reap what's going on here We've got moder moderation, okay? So there's there's a tempering energy and a healing energy here. It's still quite possible. Here's the two cups. Here's the two cups. Okay, so the Ace of Swords, the truth. I love it when I see this Ace of Swords. And the voter. The voter is telling the truth in the here and now. The truth is emerging. There's a nice little rainbow in that card. The King of Cups in the Hopes and Fears. There's a lot riding on this, bringing light. It's been gerrymandered, suppressed. 
So we've got the Six of uh, Swords moving out of troubled waters and a healing occurring. It's a positive card. Knight of Swords, somebody's brandishing a sword of truth here. Really nice cards. But we still have this illusion and delusion, but smoke screens could be being unmasked. And the Five of Pentacles, we do have this left out in the cold. I know what's being unmasked. It's voter suppression. All right, at the base of the pack, we have the Queen, the Queen of Pentacles. That could even be Stacey Abrams. And we have our Star of Hope. So it's a good, and of course, our Knight of Wands. So it's a good omen for Georgia still. It's a good omen for Georgia still. One last look at the Senate, because these are the areas, along with North Carolina, that I think have a possible possibility. Now, remember, tarot cards can tap into the current energies and things change. You know, if I get a, um, you know, 60, 70%, 80% strike rate, <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, let's have a look at the Senate, please. I'll just cut these again. Okay, so I'm being told to go back to Nostradamus. The Senate, the Senate, that would figure. Um, let's have a look. Is the Senate in play for the Dems? It will be a big... When I read this, I said there's going to have to be a lot of work or there has been a lot of work put into this. And it was... I saw brambles crossing, uh, crossing the path of a river so that they actually had to cut away the brambles in order to be able to cross the river. That river, of course, is, is a healing thing. Um, the Senate. Let's have a look at the Senate in the Senate for the Dems. Is, is it at all possible? Is it at all possible? So there's a surprise coming around the Senate is what I'm being told. Okay. Is it at all possible that the Democrats... Okay, there's obviously been... I'm seeing that Seven of Swords card, but there's one sword. There's one sword that's glowing. So if they do take victory, and this would be in, re in keeping with my previous prediction, it will only be a, by one vote, literally one vote. Um, and it, uh, that could be Kamala Harris casting her deciding vote. It's interesting. All right, so let's have a look. Is it possible? Is it possible for the Democrats to control? Is it possible for the Democrats to control the Senate? Is it possible? What have we got here? Um, the Prince of Wands, which is the Knight of Wands. That's a good card. That's a good card. And we have the um, Page of Cups. So there is a surprise coming. We have the Magician, Manifestation Energy. These are good cards so far. But we also have the Five of Cups. But in this deck, it's like the king has been shut up in the tower. Let's keep going. So we have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups. Possibility. We do have the... Uh, the lovers card again the eight of cups clarifying the lovers card we do have the ace of wands sitting underneath the magician yeah i think it is still in play and i think it's entirely the king of cups is biden it's still in play for biden and if if it's like 50 50 if that's a scenario then there's one vote that makes a difference. Um, or if it's, you know, 51, 50, uh, it's not by a, a high margin, but it is still in play for the Democrats. All right, I'm going to keep things, I was going to say keep things short. Look, it's 34 minutes. <laughs> what can I say? These are momentous times and judging by the reactions in Australia, everybody's got a stake in this. We can feel how volatile the world is and it's uh, we're very close. We're very close to something, you know, major occurring globally, whether that's in the US or elsewhere, uh, and we all can feel it. Um, 
these are precarious times. So really send all our prayers to uh, for a stable administration for America in the form of Joe Biden. All right, thank you for tuning in, everyone, and thank you so much for your support. I'll be back again um, in the next little while, and uh, we might even start unpacking exactly what's gone on, but, you know, at that higher level, maybe pull out three or four decks and, uh, and let spirit talk and channel to us. All right, thank you for tuning in.